Hi, welcome back everyone uh, to the Voice of Hope uh, YouTube channel. I'm with Damon Looks. Uh, we're going to do a interview tonight uh, with Damon Looks. And uh, the guest that I have tonight is Angela Thomas Smith. And uh, she is uh, an aspiring author, a poet, and uh, we're going to talk about some things that she's got going on in her life right now. And also she has a magazine uh, that we're going to talk about tonight too. So uh, invite some friends and join us. I know you're really going to love this interview. So without further ado, I want to introduce you to Angela. Hi, Angela. How are you doing tonight? Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Oh, good, good. Thank you for accepting the invitation to come on uh, the Voice of Hope YouTube channel and uh, share with us tonight. I really I always love to come and share. <laughs> I love to share. Well, thank you. Thank you for wanting to come on. Um, I was wanting to start. I know you have a magazine, and uh, I know you have uh, authors in there, poets. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I'm excited to get this month's issue because I'm going to be in there. <laughs> so can you tell uh, us more about it? Yes. Yes. So the name of the magazine is Aspiring Authors Magazine. And I started the magazine um, because I wanted to bring more awareness to authors. And I wanted to give authors another platform where they could be highlighted. Um, they could gain information about writing tips. Um, different marketing tools, different things that can help them when they become a published author. Because I know, I've noticed um, since I became an author and since I started AALAC, which was um, it's an African American Author Literacy Awareness um, campaign organization that I started to bring awareness to authors. Um, when I started that organization, I noticed that a lot of people were lacking a lot of things um, around being an author. Now, a lot of people were just going to an event and just selling books and just, you know, not engaging, not realizing that they had an actual business. Um, being an author is a business, and you have to look at it like a business. So I started... Um, Aspiring Authors Magazine to give authors a platform so that they could get exposure um, around the world because we are a global magazine. Um, my editor, she's actually from Lesto, Africa, um, born, raised, and still live there. Um, I have some amazing co-writers from all over the U.S. We have um, a co-writer from the U.K. We have a co-writer from... Um, St. Croix Virgin Islands, and I just um, spoke with someone today from Jamaica. So we have uh, we have co-writers, contributing writers um, from all over. Um, they're sharing their different um, prospects on um, writing tips, from writing tips to marketing tools to how to self-publish for those that are aspiring to become an author. We also, um, in the magazine, we feature authors, so authors can um, highlight themselves. They can share what they would like people to know about them. We do um, half-page features, full-page features. We also have a, um editor section. We have a poetry corner. We do a contest every month that give those that are aspiring to become authors an opportunity to submit their short stories um, to possibly um, win an opportunity to be published inside of the magazine. Um, we do a, um, we also have a book re review um, team that reviews books and we share those books um, on our website, the reviews on our website. And then we pick a book of the month and we highlight that inside our magazine. So we give authors the opportunity to um, gain additional exposure um, all around the world um, because um, we, we have different people that are um, wanting our magazine, um, wanting to be a part of the magazine. 
Um, we also have a section in the magazine that's dedicated to community topics, um, things that are affecting our community. Um, and it just so happened that this month, um, in June, the June issue, we were focusing on um, the black culture. And then this happened with um, Black Lives Matter. So we had an opportunity to um, share some of people's um, thoughts on what is taking place right now. Um, and not just here in America, but all over the world. Um, mm -hmm. We actually had some um, people that um, submitted entries from the UK um, mm -hmm. and just different things. So we, we are more than just um, promoting authors. We promote things that are taking place in the community. We focus on um, domestic violence, um, suicide awareness, um, education, health care, um, just different things that uh, affect our community um, around the world and just giving people different opportunities to chime in and to share. So that's basically um, um, the magazine in a nutshell, <laughs> I guess wow. you could say. That is amazing. I'm really excited about getting my uh, edition this month. Uh, I've already ordered it, and uh, I would urge you guys to really get a copy of this magazine because, wow, this is so much of what we need, Angela. And like you were saying, you didn't know this was going to happen this month. And, wow, what a way it, to outreach, you know, and let, you know, people share, you know, what they're going through and, and on top of, well, I, I can't wait to get the, the edition. And the way you're helping new authors and uh, all this stuff. This is really, really, I can't wait. And it's called Aspiring Magazine, right? Aspiring Authors Magazine. And the reason why I named it Aspiring Authors Magazine was because I wanted to, um, I wanted to inspire the authors that, aspire to write and then I wanted to inspire those that are already writing to keep writing wow. um, because sometimes we we get complacent and we get to a place to where we want some and things are not going the, the way we want them to go when we want them to go sometimes we give up amen and, and yes I, I I want people to be able to you know, pick up the magazine and look in the magazine and see, you know, that they can do this, that it, it, if one person can do it, they can do it, because God has no respect for a person. If he do it for one, he can do it for the next. And most of the people that become authors, and I'm just speaking from experience, most of the people that become authors, they write because of something that has taken place in their life, whether good or bad. Mm -hmm. They write from a place of therapy. They write from a place of wanting to inspire somebody or wanting to encourage somebody because of something that they've been through. And I do not take any of my platforms lightly because of that. I, I truly believe in Jeremiah 29 and 11, and I know people are probably going to get tired of hear, hearing me no, say that. No. But I live by Jeremiah 29 and 11, and everybody that know me or would come in contact with me will always know that Jeremiah 29 and 11 is my thing because mm -hmm. I truly believe that God has placed us all here with a purpose, that we're That's all right. placed here to do something in life and to make a difference in some way. So he had a plan for us before we was even conceived in our mother's womb. He said it in his word. He said, I have a plan to prosper you for you to be in good health for you to have hope in the future. Ooh, and I truly believe that he's going to watch over his word until it's performed. Mm -hmm. And I just want to be a platform that allows people to get educated on the things that they're not educated on. They can help them to be empowered, to be encouraged, to walk in their purpose. Because we are placed here with the purpose. You know, and sometimes right. we get off track and sometimes we just need to be pushed and be encouraged and inspired to get back on track. You know, because oh, I, I, I've not always been in a place. I've not always been in a place where I was able to do the things that I'm doing now. And mm -hmm. especially not talking about the word of God. So I, I thank God for these platforms that allow us to be able to share and to, to help encourage other people and give other people a chance to share their stories. 
Oh, yes. I'm just feeling like you just need to pre go ahead and preach right now. I, you are so <laughs> blessing me because, like, you don't know how much confirmation this. Uh, I'm, I'm going to talk to you about the, in my spirit of Jeremiah 29 and 11. Uh, I've used that so many times. And, uh, whoa, you, you just don't even know how much confirmation this is and how much you're blessing me. And I know so many others that's going to watch this video in replay. Uh, Angela, she also has a show on a radio station that we both are on, and it's called Walking in Purpose, right? Can you tell them a little about, bit about your show on uh, Beverly Nation? Yes, so I am, um, I think I'm on the first Wednesday of the month, mm -hmm. and my show is called Walking in Purpose with Angela. Um, I truly believe in um, helping people discover their purpose and owning their mm -hmm. purpose. So I like to share um, those that are walking in their purpose um, that have been through something and overcame so that they can share how they overcame, what they overcame, so other people can be inspired and encouraged to do the same. Because you never know who is going through something when they're going through and you never know when somebody needs that extra push or that extra uh, word of encouragement. You know, yes. we all have a story. Mm -hmm. We we all have a story. And, you know, my story may be different from your story, but we all have a story. And somebody needs to hear our story because they can overcome from hearing our story. That's what the word of God says. He said we overcome from hearing and sharing the testimony. Amen, 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 so true. And uh, you guys got to catch her show. It's the first Wednesday of the month. The next one will be uh, July the 1st, actually, right? Three weeks from yeah. tonight? Three weeks from tonight. Yeah. And uh, if you follow her, uh, she'll give details at the end. I promise you, you'll enjoy the show. I know I love it every week. She has some uh, great guests and uh, just really a great show. So I was wanting to talk to Angela on uh, some new projects that you got going on. Can you tell us a little bit about some uh, projects you're working on now? So I do a lot of um, anthologies. I do a lot of collaboration projects because I come from a place where I believe um, in networking and sharing people's um, testimony um, because mm -hmm. you know people have this thing where they think women cannot work together and I am going to break that curse because I, yes, I love man. working with my sisters mm -hmm. and I tell you I've, I've done whew, I have 13 books out wow. and all of my books except for four of them are collaboration projects wow and in every one of these books, um, it seemed like um, there's none of the same people in each one of these books that I've been in. So it's, gave, it's given me an opportunity to network with other women, to meet other women that are in different walks of life, different professions, different cultures, different things. But it just gives you an opportunity to so not only that you can relate to other people's stories. You may not know exactly what it is, but you can relate because you know that somebody's been through something. It may not be the same something that you've been through, but they've been through something and they overcame that. And it and that itself is encouraging. So I do a lot of collaboration projects. I'm currently working on um I'm working on two projects, actually. Um, one, um, I started in 2018. Life happened, and it was a it's a suicide awareness project. Life happened. Um, I got sick, had surgery. My father passed. A couple of other people in the project, things happened. So we wasn't able to complete the project. We're currently working on the project. Um, it shall be released um, within the next couple of months. Um, it's almost completed. Um, and it's a suicide awareness project. Um, it's a 30-day devotional. Um, everybody in this um, project has either attempted suicide, they've lost someone to suicide. Um, so that's my tribute to um, helping somebody that may be going through what we've been through. Um, 
So that's a suicide awareness project. Um, my baby that I'm working on, um, it's a two book project. Um, and it's called I Am Owning My Truth. Um, it's um, an anthology project. Um, the first part is a 30 day devotional. Um, we have 30 women that um, is taking part in this project. Um, they're owning their truth. They're sharing something that they've overcame that has made them into the person that they are today. Um, we have domestic violence survivors. We have sexual assault survivors. We have um, individuals that have been molested, um, abused, human trafficked, um, different things. Um, there is, I think, one, two, three, three young ladies that um, are blind and that are participating in this project. Um, they, um, one is completely blind, um, but the other ones, they just have um, a legally blind um, issues. Um, but they are um, a part of the project. And we're owning our truth and we're sharing um, what has made us who we are. And then we're the second part of, the, of that same project is a affirmation um, and journal book. Because I want people to know that they have the power to speak life or death. Because it says, um, the word of God says in Proverbs 18 and 21, that we have the power in our tongue to speak life or death. And um, I want people to learn how to speak over and into their life because we can't keep on expecting to get something out of life if we're not putting anything in. And if we're putting negative things in, negative things are going to come out. So we have to learn how to speak positive and be positive because I tell you, when this pandemic began, so many people were saying so many things and people were getting discouraged and people were, you know, wavering from their faith and saying all kinds of things. And, and, and me, the, 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 the baby in this walk was having to encourage people and speak word and telling people, reminding people that, you know, you got the power to speak life. You can mm-hmm. speak over your situation. You got to speak to, to, to your body. Don't, don't, don't let yourself get depressed. Speak to your mind. Tell your mind that it's got, it, it's got to come under the submission of the Lord. Ain't got to line up with the word. Amen. That's right. You can't allow the enemy to come in and, 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 and take over. So we have to learn how to speak life. So um, we're, we're doing the affirmation and journal um, booklet. Um, the women are sharing um, affirmation words and phrases, and they're giving um, words of encouragement. Um, and then it's going to be a place where they can journal, where people can, they can journal um, their thoughts as they, as they read through um, the affirmations. And we challenge them to do different things um, in the affirmation booklet. So there'll be little activities, um, not a whole a lot of activities, but a little activity like um, I challenge people to get um, sticky notes and post their, um, their affirmations around their rooms and places that they're going to be where they can see them so they can be reminded that if, 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 you're, if you're having problems with self-esteem, and know that you are beautiful. Know that you're loved. Speak over your life. And the more you see the word love and beautiful, then you'll start receiving it and you'll start seeing yourself as um, a beautiful person and a person full of love. And then you can start letting that be outward instead of just letting it hang in the inside and be lonely. So that that's 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 the project. Um and, and I'm just trying to educate, empower and encourage people to walk in their purpose and to seek out the their truth. Wow. I love this. I love all you're doing on your own truth, this project you're doing. This magazine, this show walking in your purpose whoa girl uh you have just blessed me so much tonight but just hearing you again you know i know bits and pieces of your story but the more i hear it it just blesses me so much and uh is there anything else you want to share before we close tonight no i just want people to be encouraged to know that no matter what 
is going on in the natural, we have to understand that we're a spiritual being mm -hmm. and that God is already working it out. He knew what we was going to go through before we even started going through. He already has the answer. We just have to walk into it. But we have to line up with the word in order to walk into what he's called us to do. And I just want to encourage those that are listening to not give up on your dreams, to chase your dreams, walk in your purpose, on purpose. Because you were not just placed here, you were placed here with a purpose. Yes, so true, so true. Well, thank you for coming on here tonight. You, you've blessed me so much. And uh, can you tell everybody um, the different platforms they can reach you on and when they are? Because I know you're not only on the radio station that I'm on. I know you have other radio stations also that you're on. And then where they can uh, find your magazine and uh, watch other interviews that you do live. So I, um, you can find me on Facebook. Um, you can find me under Angela Thomas Smith. You can find me under AALAC, the African American Author Literacy Awareness Campaign page. You can find me under Aspiring Authors Magazine LLC. Um, we also have a website um, for the magazine. It is www.theaspiringauthorsmagazine.com. You can purchase the magazine on the website. You can, um, there's links all over Facebook. You can um, go on Facebook and uh, you can order it directly through PayPal and we'll ship it out to you, um, which is a little cheaper than order, ordering it from um, the place that we publish it in the ad. Um, we do have links for that, but that is $15 on there. But we actually can, if we order them in bulk, um, we're getting them right now for, um, we can get them for $7 and you just pay for the shipping. So it ends up being $9.50, which is a lot cheaper than ordering them through um, the actual company. Um, I am also on um, Sedora Radio on the first and third Sunday of each month from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Um, live. Um, I have some amazing guests, and my show is called Walking in Purpose with Angela. Um, I think that's it. Um, I am on Instagram. I am on LinkedIn, um, Angela Thomas Smith. And on um, Instagram, I am AALAC. I'm listed under uh, my organization. Um, but I think that's it. Oh, and if you want to reach out to me, I do have a business line. Um, the number is 803-757-6090. And anything that has to do with magazines or books, uh, I can help you with. <laughs> that's my thing. I, I love to um, help people with their books. Um, and if you're an inspiring author and you want to know how to self-publish, um, I can help you with that. And if you are an author, a new author, an old author, a veteran author, um, whatever your situation may be, if you're looking for exposure or just looking for another platform to be a part of, um, to get yourself out there, um, please connect with me. Um, I'll do my best to lead you in the the right direction if I cannot help you. Um, but if I can help you, I'll do all I can do to help you and assist you on your journey as an entrepreneur. Wow. Well, thank you so much uh, with all these great resources you have to offer so many people in need in so many different areas, you know, to inspire and encourage them in so many ways. And thank you for coming on The Voice of Hope and sharing them with us tonight. So uh, Thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome, and uh, I hope to have you back again real soon. And uh, um, we're going to end the show tonight, so when the video is over, if you will look down in the bottom of the YouTube links, uh, I'm going to place all this information where you can reach Angela, and um, you can contact her. So reach out to her. Watch some of her shows. Uh, I, I know you're going to be blessed. Uh, she blesses so many people. So as I end my show tonight, 
I always like to end and say, if no one out there has told you today, you are so loved. So do what we're doing and get out there and spread some hope. In this world, there's so many people hurting right now, so many things going on. You don't know your story might be the story that brings them out of their mess. So get out there and uh, spread hope and love and kindness to each other in the world today. And uh, you just don't know, it might even bless you. So uh, tune back in for the next episode on uh, the Voice of Hope uh, YouTube channel. And uh, we'll see you next time. God bless and much love to you all. And good night.